for my psychology project, I am going to learn how to play the saxophone. I chose saxophone because I really enjoy playing instruments and I've been interested in learning saxophone for a while. So in psychology, learning is defined as the process by which humans and animals acquire behavior patterns. So when, when I start playing saxophone, I will be both intrinsically and extrinsically motivated. Intrinsic motivation is something, is motivation that comes from inside yourself. So for example, um, I will be intrinsically motivated because I enjoy playing instruments. And extrinsic motivation is motivation that comes from outside yourself. So for this project, I am extrinsically motivated to do it because I want a good grade and it's an assigned project so that's something outside myself that's motivating me to do this. And so something that will be influencing my learning of the saxophone will be positive reinforcers. In terms of learning the saxophone, when I do something right, the tone sounding good and the note being correct will be positive reinforcers that'll cause me to keep playing it correctly. And then on the flip side, punishment is something that decreases the likelihood that behavior that the behavior will occur. So if I do something that makes my tone quality drop, or if I do something that makes the note come out wrong, um it it will cause me to stop doing that thing and start doing it correctly. So my goal for this project since saxophone or any instrument takes a long time to develop. It's just go I'm narrowing it down to being able to play the B flat concert scale with the with an arpeggio, just one octave, with a consistent tempo and without any wrong notes. <laughs> Being one of the only people with saxophone expertise at Marathon High School, Sarah consulted me to uncover her passion for this great instrument. Daunting to any amateur, the saxophone has more keys than I've bothered to count, but it's actually pretty simple. In order to effectively play the saxophone, you need to know how to set it up. Take the neck of the saxophone and connect it to the body first and foremost. Take a reed from your case, you should be cycling at least three reeds, and put it on your mouth until it's sufficiently moist. Once this occurs, place the reed on the mouthpiece and fasten them together with the ligature. Any aspiring saxophonist should have cork grease to ensure that the mouthpiece can be lowered enough down on the neck for optimal tuning. Once all parts of the sax are together and your neck strap is hooked on and adjusted to your height, you are ready to play. Embouchure is probably the most important thing about maintaining a good sound and intonation with the rest of the band. With your mouth on the mouthpiece, it should look like you're smiling. Tight-lipped, upturned mouth. Take in some mouthpiece, but not too much. After these steps are taken, you should be ready to play. Your first note. To play a long tone, say, concert B-flat, blow fast, warm air into the instrument and move your jaw up or down, depending on whether you're sharp or flat. To get separation between notes, pulse the air to play four quarter notes instead of one whole note, or eighth eight eighth notes instead of one whole note. Practice with a metronome to achieve good timing and to understand the subdivisions of half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Once these basic fundamentals are mastered, you're ready to learn the notes and fingerings. The E-flat alto saxophone is a transposing instrument, so concert B-flat or Do would be G on sax. The concert B-flat scale is therefore played G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. On the instrument, these fingerings are the top three keys for G, the top two keys for A, the top key for B, the middle key on the top row for C, the top three, the bottom three, and the octave key for D, the top three for the bottom two, and the octave key for E, the top three, the middle key on the bottom <laughs> row, and the octave key for F sharp and the top three keys in the octave key for G. Going up the scale, you want to make sure to tongue, and going down the scale, you want to make sure to slur. One, 
Once the concert B flat scale is mastered, you sh can build upon this skill to learn more notes and scales on the sex. <laughs> just um chipped my reed i don't know how that'll affect my playing but mm -hmm.